Hi everyone, today I have another review for you and this time around it is for the Wet n Wild Cover All Cream Foundation. This is a foundation that is cruelty free, it is um, a drugstore brand so it is very affordable. This was, if I'm not mistaken, roughly $5. I'm going to um, check this again and then I'm going to put this in the, um, in the description box as well as on the uh, screen right here, somewhere on the sides probably. And um, all in all, it does not say too much about it, but I just want to sh want to show you um, how this applies and what I think about it. So um, we're going to go right in. I um, have filmed, of course, my application already, but I wanted to show you um, how it applies and um, talk to you about what I think about it while I was applying it. So I'm going to show you um, and now how I um, how I apply my Wet n Wild Cover All Cream Foundation. I have the shade Fair, E815, E815, and um, this is a quite nice color match for me, and um, what I have um, come to the conclusion is that um, I think this works best for me with a wet um, blender type sponge. So I'm quickly going to get my sponge wet again because it has dried a bit. So um, yeah, I want to get it wet and um, have it very moist and um, I'm of course going to squeeze out the excess moisture but I want to do that first. So um, I have applied my moisturizer and uh, my primer already and now I'm going to show you how the um, Wet n Wild Cover All Cream Foundation applies. My shade is in the shade E815 Fair and I think it's a quite good match. It might be a tad bit too dark but all in all it works well. Um, Real quick, the claims of this foundation are it is an all-day wear, medium to full coverage, lightweight satin matte finish. Just to give you this, this information, it's what the foundation claims. It's supposed to be an all-day wear, it is supposed to be medium to full coverage, and it has a lightweight satin matte finish. So, I'm quite interesting to see. Um, I mean, I've tried this a few times already, so we'll see. Quickly grab my mirror here because nothing ever goes without a mirror, and I don't want to look into the um, screen too much. So, I'm going to actually take the cap off. Now, I apply this with a um, sponge type applicator for the simple reason that I have come to the conclusion that with a brush, even with a buffing brush, um, the foundation just applies a bit too streaky for my liking, and this does not happen with my sponge. So this is um, not a beauty blender, it is a dupe for it, it's um, from a German drugstore brand and I appreciate that they um, actually came out with this because I think it's quite nice, it has a bit of gift to it but it's not too soft, it's also not too solid and um, after using this a few times this got even softer once you have all the moisture in and it cleans relatively well. Now I have um, used this before and I don't clean this with every single use, I clean this about every three to four uses. So I'm going to put um, a few dollops all over my face. Too much probably. So. As you can see I have a few breakouts, especially on my chin area as always when I have breakouts. And on my forehead, I have a bit of a red, red area. So, just gonna see. Oh, some dust. For some reason, this looks incredibly pink and pale on on my um, screen, but um, it isn't really. I don't know what's going on there. Might just be that the lighting is iffy and um, I can't do much about that. So this is one layer and as you can see my spots still shine through. Top of my head is actually okay. So for a change this actually um, 
did something. When I am uh, more red on my forehead, and I don't know what exactly is going on there, it um does show up like uh, it shines through a bit. But um, I don't really think this is medium to full coverage, honestly, because if I look in the mirror right here, <clears throat> sorry, my sun is playing over there. I um I can still see um my one red area right here, which happened recently, um, like the past two or three months, give or take. And this is not going away anywhere, anywhere unless I have a good um, foundation that covers it up. I've even tried um, using um, more hydrating moisturizers. It didn't do anything for it, so I don't know. It might just be the time of year. That's not going well with my skin and all these stress that is added on top of everything. So, um... I for the eyelids because I forgot my primer. So, um, yeah, I, mean, I could try and um, see if maybe if I add another dollop of the foundation. I can get these areas to cover up properly. But as it is, I would not call this a full coverage foundation at all. This is, in my opinion, a light to medium foundation and it's not I don't like the way it builds up because it does build a little but it doesn't build like you don't get the same amount of coverage with, with each layer and um just don't like it too much it is um I like the way this looks on my skin in general like on the um, outer parts where I don't have any redness or anything going on and um even on my nose it looks okay, but um, my big problem is that it does not cover up much and I, I would always have to use a concealer for other areas, like my under eye area anyway. So um, we're going to quickly do that to see. What that does, so. I don't like going up too much with my um, concealer because I feel like if I go up too high into my lines, first off, I don't need the concealer there, and it settles in my lines more easily. So, that's good enough for my under eye area, and now I'm quickly going to go and use my Catrice Camouflage Cream for spot concealing, because I need to go over the red areas there. This is much better. It's still not full coverage, but um, I like this a lot better the way it is now. So um, as you can see, this is how the foundation applies. And now I'm going to quickly finish up my the rest of my um, face um, makeup, and then we're going to discuss everything about the foundation and what I think about it. I've tried it quite a bit now, and um, so yeah, I think I can give you a good idea of what my opinion is. So. And this is what the foundation looks like on my skin with all the other ingredients for a full face makeup included. I think it is quite nice. For some reason this looks darker than this, but that's always the case up here. I think it's just the lighting. There's more light coming in from this side than it's from that, that side, so that might just not help. But um, yeah, I do like the way it looks on my skin. Looking up close in my mirror here, I like it a lot. and. Um, I think while this is definitely not um, medium to full coverage, like I said in the application, this is for me more a light to medium coverage foundation. I um, do think um, the satin matte finish that they claim on the um, on the packaging itself is true. Looking at my skin, I don't I don't look flat. I look it looks like my skin is healthy and it looks like there's not a lot going on. Um, of course, I had to use concealer to um, cover up certain um, darker spots and darker areas where I have sits or had sits. But um, all in all, the foundation sits nicely on my skin. It says it is an all-day wear, which um, I do think is quite right. My um, 
my big thing is of course that when I blow my nose and at the moment with the palm all, all over the place I do blow my nose a lot it does fade away on my um, nose relatively quickly and um, as with all foundations actually when I wear my glasses uh, and I wear glasses usually I just don't have them on when I film because um, they my the glasses they reflect the light and it just looks off but I have the um, the nose pads they actually um, have the foundation gather underneath and I don't know a single foundation that does not do that so so all in all I have to say adieu Hör jetzt auf! Es reicht! Du gehst gleich raus und runter, dann möchte ich dich nicht mehr sehen! Dann hebst du alles wieder auf! What I'm not quite sure about is the um, claim that this is a lightweight foundation. Um, it is not a um, heavy feel on my skin but I'm not sure about the lightweight because it is a very thick formula and uh, my big big pet peeve is actually the packaging now um, this is the opening and um, when it is completely full the foundation comes out of there as soon as you open it so um, I've used this a few times already and um, now it is starting to stop or I'm getting used to how to work with it but um, the packaging is my big, big downside. I think this would um, do well with a different kind of tip at least. I like that it's um, a screw top and that you can just squeeze it out. That in general is very nice. But um, I don't appreciate the fact that when the foundation is brand new, the foundation just comes out as soon as you open it up. So um, that is um, what I do not like about it. And the other thing is that I have a feeling that this is actually making me break out. Now I have applied this again, but I'm going to take this off um, right away again. I wanted to show you what it looks like on my skin though. So um, I felt like I would be okay with applying this and having it on for maybe half an hour to an hour while I'm filming this. But um, I do think this makes me break out the sits I have here and there that you could see at the beginning when I was starting to apply the foundation are actually ones that um, happened right after I used this foundation. and. Um, in between I had a break um, and then I, before that I had used this one already um, as well. And it seems like whenever I use this I have those, um, you know, those um, breakouts that are under your skin that are very painful and that is what this, um, I think, does to me. So I don't know what I'm going to do about this. All in all, I do like the idea of the foundation because it is a little bit buildable. It, for the most part, for me, I don't need a full coverage foundation, honestly. I mean, I like being able to conceal with my foundation because it means I can um, save a step. I don't have to bring my concealer with me, for example. But this is something that I just do not like too much. So, um, that being said, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue using this because if it does make me break out, it's kind of annoying and there's a lot still left in here. I am... Um, let me see. Boop. Yeah. <clears throat> this is almost full. So, um, you don't need a lot of the foundation, I think. Like, all in all, it's a normal size um, that I would apply on a day-to-day -day -to -day basis. But, um, my really, the downside is that I don't know if I want to use this one up, if it does make me break out. Maybe I can use it on the sides of the face. I don't know. Have, do you have experience with that? Does that work? Because I would be upset if I had to pass this along, because I like the way it feels and um, looks on my skin. So, um, yeah, um, I've been babbling the past few minutes, so I guess I'm going to leave it at that. And um, if you have any questions for regarding the foundation or if you um, have any comments because you've tried it yourself or if you know an answer to my issue with the breakouts, I would appreciate it. And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, I will try to film more reviews in the upcoming ones. And um, this is one of them, of course. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any um, ideas on how I can make my reviews better, then I would definitely appreciate hearing them. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.